So I am sitting in a 1929 Pierce Arrow that was owned by Charlie Chaplin, is that yep. correct? Pierce Arrow Model 143, it's a 125 horsepower straight eight, it's a big old straight eight in it. Uh, this is actually the car he was driving the day the stock market crashed. Ah, <laughs> wonder if he uh, saw falling bodies and buildings <laughs> as he's driving down the street. So my petite rear end is right where Charlie Chaplin's bottom might have been at uh, one time. Very well, yeah, he probably had a chauffeur, but yeah, I'd, I'd be surprised if he yeah. hadn't, hadn't driven it himself a few times. Uh -huh. Pierce Arrow, what a glamorous car. Just, you know, Charlie Chaplin and all his cronies drove stuff like this. Yeah, we talked about Auburn earlier, and while they built some really great cars, they, they built some, you know, grocery getters too. Pierce just stuck with the really great cars. They didn't really get any grandmother's cars built in there. Uh -huh. Pierce Arrow didn't survive. I know they, they kept making cars. I, I think the stock market was real tough on them. This, and yeah, that, the day he was driving this was the, the day that signaled the demise of Pierce Arrow yeah, as well. So yeah, was, they made trailers for a while and to try to stay afloat and that didn't work for them. So. William, this is such a wonderful facility that you have here. So many great cars in here. This is absolutely free. It's open to the public. And for more information, they can go to your website, which is? It's the AutomotiveRoadOfDreams.com. You can just do a search on Yahoo or Google on Automotive Road of Dreams, there. or you can just type it in. OK, well, William, thank you very much yeah, for taking the time you, to be sir. on the show. It's a real honor being here. And uh, if you want to climb on the back, maybe I can uh, <laughs> drive us down to the local hamburger stand. Sounds good to me. All right.